Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Sprout. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I am having a great day, and today uh, I want to start off by doing a little bit of Ars Magica stuff. We haven't really done anything with it for a while, um, but I should have... Yeah, I've got a, quite a few uh, skill points to spend, so I'd like to do that. This is from uh, basically just using my projectile light spell over and over and over and over again, uh, and I think... There's a few different things that we'll want to look through. The utility skills are kind of all here under the little, the third tab. Um, and some of these are like super good. Dirt to sand, plant, there's a row spell. Rift storage is kind of interesting. I don't really, I've never used it before. Uh, and Ars Magica, I will say, is not a mod that I'm like super, super familiar with. But we've got five blue ones to spend create water i would also really like to get uh some like decent healing spells go we've got this uh, this instant healing i think that would actually be very good uh although this is a red one so let's try this life tap see how that works i'm assuming that'll allow me to basically like damage enemies and heal myself in the process Ah, life drain probably is what me allows me to do that. Okay, so that's good. We also want to swing over here uh, and spend a green on mana regen boost two. So that's going to uh, increase the speed at which I regenerate mana. I think that's very important. And then let's say night vision, true sight, disarm. Let's maybe go plant. Because I'd like to kind of work my way down here as well. We, do, we don't have any more green skill points, but that could be good. And then over here, uh, I don't have anything I can unlock there. Leap, Dispel, Shrink. That could actually be useful in some circumstances. Let's get that. And then I guess we'll just look at some of this stuff. Invisibility, that could be interesting. Plow is the hoe. Harvest. I thought there was one that will like grow. Oh, it's right here, it's this red one. Okay, gotcha. So I'm not really seeing anything else that I'm particularly interested in right now as far as blue spells go. So let's, let's call that good. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to make uh, a new spell or two. So let's go book, uh, here we go, book and quill. Let's make like two, let's make like three of these. And let's try to make up some new spells here. So first of all, we need to put a book in here. And then, does this... Here we go. Uh, and I'm thinking we want to go self and healing, right? So basically that will uh, just be a quick, like, I can touch it and it will heal me. I think that's useful. Uh, and actually, we could also do regeneration, I think. Let's just, let's look at the Oculus real quick. I'm pretty sure that would be under defensive yeah regeneration and then healing okay so we'll do this spell that will give us both uh, regeneration and healing for a short while and we'll we'll call it um um heal we'll just call it we'll, we'll name it very creatively self heal one <laughs> we'll we'll do that and there we go so let's take a look at this and see what we actually need for it. So we need blank runes, we need a bunch of different stuff, lesser focus, and then essence. How do I get essence? Essence conduit, arcane essence, fire essence. Ooh, there's some stuff in here that I don't know exactly how it works. Um, let's grab our, where's that arcane compendium? Maybe it's in my, 
Ah, it's right here. Okay, there we go. So let me let me do a little research here, see if I can figure out how to get essence, and then I'll be back. Okay, I think I have it figured out. So uh, there's a couple things we're gonna need. I'm gonna need a lesser focus, so let's just make one of those right now, just to kind of get it out of the way. And then what we really need is an essence refiner right here. Uh, and to make this, we should have everything except for the arcane ash. So we need a little bit of this arcane compound. And we need to smelt that up, I believe, and that will turn it into uh, arcane ash. There we go. Lovely. And then we can take that, toss it in here, and make ourselves an essence refiner. And I believe uh, if we make ourselves more arcane ash let's so let's just let's just make like a stack of this essence compound and let's get that smelting up in our furnace we'll just go boop there we go let that smelt i think how this works we need to let's just set it like right here um ultimately what we have to do to get arcane essence is just put a bunch of ash in here so we need like five arcane ash and i think that will then turn into uh the essence we need i think that's what it seemed like anyway so let's go like so and it's gonna do stuff i don't know uh let's let's actually just try one at a time first see if that makes a difference i don't know if it will but it seems like this should work and then i think if I was researching correctly, right? We look at uh, the essence refiner. Do, 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 do. Oh, essence requ requires Ethereum. I missed that part. So how do I get Ethereum? Is that just the liquid stuff? Ethereum. Hmm. Maybe not. Can I like look at Ethereum? Oh, here we go. Neutral Ethereum can be obtained from an obelisk. So that's what we need. We need an obelisk. Okay. So obelisk. All right. We should be able to make one of those. That seems pretty easy. Let's... Oh, I need a chiseled stone brick, apparently. No big deal. Make one of those. Toss that in here. Give me my obelisk. There we go. And we toss that right here. And then do we just toss... What do we what do we toss into it? Coal? Maybe? Just something to cook? No? Hmm. So let's look at the obelisk. Here we go. Okay. Used to generate Ethereum. Burns Vintium dust or liquid Ethereum to generate power. Okay, so basically we take Vintium dust. Take some of that. I'll toss like half a stack in here. And then it's going to start doing things. Now, is that automatically going to connect up to this? Will that just start generating Ethereum? I don't know. Does it say... It generates... Oh, wait. What? That's a little bit funky. Current layer. One, two. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure. That's a, a looks a little bit weird. But it looks like we're generating Ethereum, although it's not really doing anything. So I don't know if that's going to work properly. Uh, let me look into this a little bit more and see if I can figure it out. Maybe what we need to do is find some way to get the uh, the stuff that this generates into this thing, potentially. Uh, let me look into it and see what I can find out. Okay, I think I figured out what the issue is. So I actually need to make uh, a couple things. I need to make some Magitek goggles and a Magitek staff, okay? And if I put these on and then hold the staff, I can see, num I, I can now see detected neutral Ethereum 4000. And I think 
There, okay, so there's nothing in here. So uh, then there's like a Magitech workbench, magic wand. So we can now see that this thing does have a bunch of Ethereum in it, which is good. I need 500 uh, or I, I, I need this, right? So I need to somehow get this neutral essence or neutral Ethereum into here, I believe, right? Because if we look back at our recipe, we need 500 neutral essence and we need to turn this Ethereum into essence basically. So what I got to figure out is how we can link those. And I think there's some, if I remember correctly, there's some sort of like power conduit or, or something like that. Um, yeah, that's, that's all there. Mechanics, burnout, magic level mana, maybe? No, that's not it. There is another way to do this as well, I noticed. There's a, um, uh, this draining well is a way for me to basically create a well that I can just use my own mana, my magic, to, like, get it. But I need pure essence for that, and I don't have a way to get that right now. So, here we have broken power links. But I'm not sure how exactly we create a power link in the first place. This is <laughs> this is where I'm I'm a little confused because it's not like super obvious. So I'm going to look through this a bit more and see what I can figure out. Uh, see if I can find the answer of how I can link this because I I do see we do have uh, neutral Ethereum. We do have our uh, essence refiner here to turn it into neutral essence. I just got to figure out how to link this thing to this thing. I'll be back. Aha! I figured it out. I needed to make one of these, a crystal wrench, and then I can left click and left click, or right click and right click, and then it pairs up. So now when we look at this, we've got um, in here a thousand neutral ethereum. So now if I toss this into here, it should start converting into what I need, and it's gonna burn this Vintium dust to do its thing. I don't know exactly how long it takes, but it seems like the circle is kind of changing. Yeah, it's definitely changing color. Something is definitely happening here. There we go. So now we have Arcane Essence. And can I just like... I, I don't know how to see... Oh, I've also got this this magic here. So that's kind of whatever. Uh, I seem to remember I can also burn that, but... Hmm. We need to figure out what... Uh, with the arcane essence, like, exactly how that whole thing works. Because you've got essences, right? But then we need to figure out just how much essence this is. And that's where I'm a little confused... Uh, because I don't think we can, like, look at it in a thing. Um, but there we go. It's, it's giving us our arcane essence. So this is good. This is a big step in the right direction. We're getting closer. Um, now, how exactly do I turn this arcane essence into something useful? Okay, so not super obvious, <laughs> but I think I figured it out. Uh, this is a, it was a little unclear. I think what we need is a mana battery. And then we need to put this uh, somewhere between the altar and the obelisk. Um, let's just move the enchanter. Let's just put it like right here for the minute. And then what I actually want to do is take you and do that. And then take this and do that. Right? So basically we're going to generate essence with this thing. Send it here. And then from there, it'll go up here. Now, I think it needs a redstone signal. Uh, let's grab a lever. There we go. And I'm just going to put that... Uh, I'll just put it right on. Yeah, there we go. It's filling up. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. So we'll let this thing... Well, we could probably stop it right there. We don't need tons and tons and tons of it. But basically, this now has a bunch of neutral essence in it, and that should be enough for us to finally do our recipe. So, let's just see 
Uh, let me get all of these things together. Oh, I need a golden apple too. Okay. But yeah, let me get all of this stuff together. Actually, we should have most of it, I think. Um, blank rune. We've got... Om? Aum? Uh. Okay, we don't have Om. How, do I make Om? Is that a thing? Oh, it's a plant! Oh no, I don't have it. Okay, so I need to go find some of that. Uh, I actually think I seem to remember seeing some fairly close. I'm really surprised that we haven't actually seen any yet. I've been, I, I thought I was grabbing like all of the Ars Magica flowers that we came across, but uh, apparently that is not the case. So I'm going to have to fly around for a bit and see if I can find this, uh, this Ars Magica flower, this Om. Here we go. Finally found some. This should be enough to last us at least for a while. There's quite a bit of it around here. I don't know if there's a way to grow more of these or if you have to find them out and about in the world. I just kind of want to poke around a little bit and see. I didn't miss any, did I? No, I think we're good. Okay, so we've found some om, or however it's properly pronounced. So let's go back home. There we go. So, going back to our super amazing spell book, and a lot of this stuff actually I'm just gonna toss away for the moment because I, it's just in my inventory and taking up space that is unnecessary. Uh, okay. Anyway. So, we have our blank room, we have our arm, we have our Ventium dust. We need a lesser focus. I've got that. Our essence we have hooked up, so we need a green and a blue rune, and then a golden apple and a spell parchment. So, I should have golden apples. Yep, got a golden apple. And then we need to make some more runes, and blank runes is basically just cobblestone. So, let's just go... Do I not have a carving tool anymore? I do too. It's right here. Uh, you know what? Let's just do this. Cobble. I'll just grab a stack. I'll just do it in my inventory since it wants to be difficult. There we go. We now have a bunch of runes. Okay. And then I need... Ooh. Do I have any cactus? I do have one cactus. Good. And then I need one lapis. We need a... Spell parchment, and then that should basically be everything we need to finally make this spell. We need to cook up the cactus so we can get our green dye, obviously, but nonetheless, that should do the trick. Let's just kind of eat some food. There we go. So we need a blue rune and a green rune, and then... We need to turn off our magnet. So, we put, uh, I take this book back, right? Because this is, this is a different book. That's our projectile spell for light. Let's just toss that in here for the moment. And we're going to put this guy here. And then we toss a blue rune in. And now it's going to tell us all the other things that we need. So we go, um, er, Two. Okay. Apparently didn't want two. But we do this. Toss in our lesser focus. Toss in our green. Toss in another arm. Okay, so apparently it's an order thing. It just it, but it appears a little differently in the other stuff. And then our spell parchment. And that should give us healing. Uh we need to find. Something that looks eel-ish. <laughs> what looks like healing from this list? There's no, like, green... Cr oh, here we go. This will work. So, let's go here. And we will save that. And that should heal. T takes 594 mana. That's a lot of mana. But 
it should heal us for a fair amount of stuff. I, I, I'd like to take some damage so we can kind of get an idea of how much this heals us for. Um, hmm. I suppose the best way to do that would be to find something to fight, like a dragon or something. We can try it out. Uh, I know I saw a dragon not that long ago. Oh, there's one. That'll work. Let's go fight this dragon and just see. Okay, yep. So, we're, we're on fire. I actually want to take damage here. Oh, and I want my dragon helm back. Thank you. Okay. Hey, dragon. Hit me. Hurt, hurt me. I, I'm immortal. Come on. Dragon. Do, do, do your attacky thing that hurts me. I'm, I'm healing. Why am I healing if my hung, why am I he still healing? If my hunger is down, is this an effect of one of my swords or something? One of my weapons or something? I don't know. Dragon? Hit. Hit. Oh. No. Oh, okay. There we go. I thought we were done. And now he's just basically destroying the entire countryside. So, um, will this heal? Okay. So it's two HP, but then it appears it gives me, if I use this, it doesn't say it gives me regeneration, but it heals me for a little bit. I thought that would be more... I thought that would heal me for a lot more than it did. For all the work that we put into getting that spell. But I guess not. Um, either way. Still, it's, it's semi-useful. I mean, it, way to, quick, to pop a quick heal in the middle of combat if we're about to die or something. And it says it gives us a little bit of regeneration, so... And maybe it will, uh, maybe we'll get, like... Maybe it'll get more powerful over time, because there is, like, affinities? Um... Now I gotta find my base again, which is south east. Okay, no problem. So there's like affinities in Ars Magica that basically affect how, like, they affect your your ability to use different types of spells. They affect uh, what you take damage from and all, all sorts of different stuff. So if we look over here, right? Uh, we can see there's different things. There's all these different affinities. Lightning, ice, nature. Life is for healing, okay? And arcane is what I use for my light spell, which is the spell that I've used lots and lots and lots and lots of. So, essentially, life will... If we use this life spell enough, uh, this life spell enough over time, we'll build up, like, this life ability... Uh, or this life affinity, which should make our spell more, like, ac more effective, basically. Um, I'm trying to find affinity tomes, items, shapes, talents, mobs, structures. Where? Affinities. Here we go. So if we look at life affinity, uh, causes you to very slowly regenerate additional life. Directly related to your depth. I'm assuming that's how how much life affinity you have. Anytime you kill something, it makes you sick and nauseated for a while. That actually sounds kind of horrible, come to think of it. I don't know that I want that. Like, the ability to self-heal is pretty sweet, but I really don't want to get nauseous every time I kill something. Considering I'm probably going to be killing a lot of things. That seems like an affinity that I really don't want. Like, at all. <laughs> why Why would I want that? So then, is there a death affinity? If there's a life affinity, is there a death? No, there is not. Ender is probably the closest. Hmm. So we'll have to be kind of careful that we only use this life spell in, like, extreme emergencies, then, is what it seems like. And you know what? That's perfectly okay. I'm fine with that. It's it's a, a it's a spell that 
you know, maybe it'll be good, maybe it won't. Really, I just wanted an excuse to play around with Arj Magic a little bit more and dive a little bit deeper into it. Unfortunately, though, guys, I am out of time for this episode. Uh, we did some interesting things with Arj Magic that I've never done before, so very exciting. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Links in the description below. Make sure you check those out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.